Over the years, Coleman Folding Trailers by Fleetwood has earned the reputation of being the most trusted name in outdoor recreation. Its tradition of quality dates back with the Coleman Company to the early 1900s and continues today. So when you want to escape to the great outdoors, there's no better way than in a Coleman Folding Trailer. The purpose of this video is threefold. The first part will show you how to set up and take down your new Coleman Folding Trailer. The second part will review some of the key steps in operating various accessories you may have included in your folding trailer. And third, I'll highlight some preventive maintenance tips that will keep your Coleman Folding Trailer operating trouble-free season after season. This video is not intended to replace your owner's manual or depict all of the models and features available. I highly recommend that you read your owner's manual carefully as it contains greater detail and outlines additional items such as towing guidelines. There's no better place to begin than at your campsite. Once you've selected a location and positioned your trailer, check visually to see if it's level from side to side. If not, blocks can be used under the wheels to help level the trailer. After you feel comfortable with the position, place wheel chocks in front and back of both wheels to prevent shifting. To unhitch the trailer, swing the dolly jack into the down position and make certain it locks into place. Notice the dolly jack is located on the road side of the trailer for easy driver access and optional sway control installation if desired. Disconnect the trailer wiring harness, remove the hitch pin, and lift up on the coupler release. Crank the dolly jack so that the coupler releases from the hitch ball. Then detach the positive locking safety chain. Level the trailer from front to back with the dolly jack. Before continuing, be certain to unlatch all four roof latches. Remove the crank handle from its storage area. Engage it and turn it clockwise as indicated. Always be certain that all roof latches have been unlatched. Depending on which Coleman model you've purchased, the crank location will be either at waist level on the Grand Tour and Elite Series for easy access and convenience or at the bumper location on the Destiny Series models. All Coleman folding trailers are equipped with a Paza Lock lift system, which prevents the roof from free falling in the event the crank handle is released. When you've reached maximum height, the crank handle will stop turning. There's no need to worry, you can't over crank it. After the roof is raised, stabilize the trailer by lowering either the crank down stabilizers on the Grand Tour Series or the friction jack stabilizers on the Destiny series. Be certain that with the friction jack stabilizers, the handle is inserted into both holes when adjusting the height. Never use the stabilizers to take the weight of the trailer off the tires. Next, pull out the beds. You may want to consider opening your gas bottle valve before pulling out the front bed. Simply grasp the full perimeter aluminum bed frame at the center and pull until the bed stops. The Grand Tour Series provides patented back saver bed supports, which make setup easier. Simply engage the lower part of the support, then lift the bed slightly until the mechanism locks into place. The Destiny Series provides a similar system that requires the supports to be lowered and securely positioned. All supports are attached, so they can't accidentally be misplaced. Remember, never attempt to place any weight on the beds prior to positioning the supports. Otherwise, you might bend or damage the bed slides. Positioning the Sunbrella 302 tenting is done by first pulling the tenting partially over the corners of the aluminum bed frame. Then from the inside, position the support. Be certain that it's adjusted so that the tension fits snugly, but not too tight. Once this is done, pull the tenting over the entire bed frame and attach the bungee cords to the hooks for a good snug fit. 
Attaching the bungee cords nearest the trailer first will reduce tension at these points and provide an overall snug tenting fit. Some trailers come equipped with a glide out, which can be set up by releasing the latches and pulling evenly on the two handles. The glide out will stop once fully extended. The unique Coleman design automatically locks into place and requires no additional stabilizers for support. The glide out's tent section is attached to the trailer's sidewall and is completed from the inside. See the instructions for proper placement. I'll show you how to complete the tenting setup on the glide out along with the bay windows when we discuss interior setup later in the video. If available at the campsite, the next items to connect are the utilities. The electric is connected by pulling out the 25-foot power cord and plugging it into an available power outlet. This will provide 110 electrical AC current to all outlets inside and outside the trailer. It will also, through the trailer's converter, provide 12-volt DC power to all the interior lights and the outside patio light. A handy tip is to use a rag to clean off any dirt when replacing the power cord. If a 110 electric power source is not available, your outlets will not operate. However, all 12 volt lights and appliances, such as the water pump, gas detector, and furnace, can be operated by an optional battery pack, which can be installed on the tongue of the trailer. City water is connected by using a non-toxic 5 8 inch freshwater utility hose, which connects to the side of the trailer. A helpful tip for campsites that have excessively high water pressure is to purchase an inline water regulator, which will prevent damage to your trailer's water system. Storage water tanks included with your trailer are also filled from the side of the trailer, excluding the models fitted with portable water bottles. To reduce towing weight, you should consider filling these tanks at the campground, except when primitive camping and a water source is not available. Please refer to your owner's manual for recommendations on sanitizing your water storage tanks. Select models come equipped with an optional portable gray water system, which can be connected to the sink and or shower. If the campsite you've selected does not have gray water collection, please use either the portable gray water system or carry along some type of storage container. Before moving to the inside of the trailer, we need to open the entrance door. The Grand Tour features a stepper door with a unique storage compartment. And the Destiny Series, a conventional door. Both feature a deadbolt locking system. I usually set the screen door in place before finishing up the interior, mainly because I don't want pesky insects helping me. The door sets into place easily by first releasing the retaining straps and spring pin clip at the base of the door, then lowering it into position. Next, attach the latches at the top of the door. Then the Velcro for a tight weather and insect seal. Once inside, the swing level galley is positioned by grasping the bar where indicated and lifting. If you have a model with a fold over galley, lift it into position in a similar fashion. Note that both galleys offer full upper and lower storage. Also notice that a safety power control switch is located on the galley to automatically shut off electricity to the trailer when set in a travel position. Glide outs and bay windows are similarly set in place by positioning the bow and extending the support so the tenting fits snugly. The leg tips on the bow for the bay window need to be set into the recessed cups on each side of the galley. The dining area sets up easily by removing the cushions if necessary and setting up the portable dinette table. The dinette table is set up by undoing the Velcro retaining strap and extending the legs. Remember, the table is portable and can be used inside or outside. The seat cushions are set in place by positioning the seat bottoms forward until the stop buttons contact the bench frame. Then, place the seat backs snugly into position. 